is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start the uh, show today, as we usually do with the German DAX. We're going to do it a little bit differently today because we're going to use David White's and uh, Tom O'Brien's program, uh, charting the market, and uh, you'll be able to see this shows a really nice uh, sell Gartley in the DAX. Whether it works or not, who knows, but it's a nice pattern. The next one we're going to show is a really nice one, and that's the uh, – went for the silver, uh, the uh, SIL, the ETF for silver, and uh, we've had a pretty good move here in gold, $14 here in the past uh, 30 minutes or less. <laughs> so uh, they're moving around quite a bit uh, with this one here. I, I would like to mention one thing. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sad today. I was up most of the night. I was baking, baking a cake. I'm sending it to uh, Felicity Huffman, the actress that was just sentenced to prison for all of the things that she did to get her child that she loved so dearly into a major university, giving a half a million dollars to pay off some officials and cheat on some tests like that. But they really threw the book at this young woman. I, I've been, I've been really shaken up about it. I, I, I just don't know what to do. They gave her two full weeks, folks, in the in prison. I mean, I don't understand why the, uh, uh, why the, why the, why it was so much. I was thinking more of three to five days, but, uh, or maybe even suspended. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll just move on to the next one. You know, then they wonder why people get upset in the world when they see stuff like that that's going on. Okay, let's move on to what's happening in the market. Well, we're not the only ones with fake news, folks. Let me show you what just happened just a little while ago while we were speaking. Now let's get this up and take a quick look at it. We've been watching this one for a long time, and today's the day we get out of the, we get off the train. Let's move this up here. You'll see this is the British pound over the past month. You'll notice that we had that beautiful 61% retracement down there at the 122 was kind enough to stay there for three days, not going below it. Gee, what were they trying to tell us? And from then, we've gone up and made the exact 1.618 target up there at 128.40. That was the high tick this morning, done just about a half hour ago when Boris Johnson said that uh, the Irish people had fought whatever the I don't know the the politics behind it, but the uh, that they had decided to do it. And then ten minutes later, the Irish uh, prime minister, whatever whatever her name was, came out and said, No, 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 we didn't do that at all. You're that's not true. So whatever happens over there. It's just like what happens over here. How they get away with this stuff, I don't know. All right. Any questions this morning, folks? 877-927-6648. We'll see what's uh, going to be happening. One, something big happened, folks, I think, um, yesterday. Uh, no, Polly doesn't mean very much anymore because these things run by themselves. But if you'll remember, let's go back here. <clears throat> just get back here to... Uh, in fact, I'll just do the notes since we're going to be talking about it here right now. If you'll notice here, this is the Treasury notes. Uh, we were due for a rally. And if you'll notice yesterday, we made a perfect double bottom down there when the bonds made a new low. The bonds, uh, we had that really nice Gartney there at uh, 160.25, and it, it gave up the ghost really quickly. You should have lost about eight pips on that very, very quickly. And then it went all the way down, taking out the lows. The, the Treasury notes did not take out the lows. The reason why I am talking about this particular chart is if you look up at the very top up there where it says open interest dropping when this market was screaming up, guess what's open? Guess what open interest is dropping now? I'm going to give you a slight hint. The first D for the first uh, uh, letter is an E, and the second one is an S. It's an E mini S and P. It dropped open interest on both Monday and Tuesday in that big run up. That is not a good sign for the bulls, but it don't make any difference because if the Fed's in there pumping the old uh, wagon, who knows what's going to go up? We'll have to keep a very close eye on it. All right. 
Let's move on to the uh, next one that we want to talk about here for just one second. Uh, and that, uh, just want to give you the, the British pound on the little bit larger time frame. We, we were watching it here. You'll see, we'll get to this level here. So you'll be able to see it. This is the one we, we sent in the uh, newsletter last week. And then we updated it this morning. We did get the exact number, 128.40 today. Uh, and not only that, folks, if you look at this and study it for just a minute, let, let, like 21 says, defy human nature. Go back and look at the time frame between December and March. Hmm, how much did it go up? Gee whiz, let's see. It went from 124 all the way up to 133. Or so let's say 134. So we went up nine points. So what did we do here? We went from 119, whoops, to one uh, to 128. Oh, nine points. What a big surprise! This goes right along with Dr. Andrew Lowe's book that said the markets not only do they repeat, they do it with relatively frequency. And by golly, you're seeing that same frequency now, and you're seeing it with the A B C D format. And that's the. Uh, you know, that's what we try to look for. We don't know if this is going to work or not, but my golly, it goes right up there. Uh, I'll take a look at the Platinum Ruby, but it's not going to be, yes, it's going to be updated for you, Ruby, because I've got time to kill, and we've got time to kill, and we're going to bring this little puppy up here one, one second at a time here. Let me get the old platinum up here for you. And uh, this will give me a time to take a break since, uh, hold on, PL is platinum, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's get the old daily out here. Ooh, it's really trying to hold. It really is. Boy, oh, boy. It's, uh, it's, on, it's, it's on life support, Ruby, but it might make it. Uh, this is an important day today. We went right down to that 880. Wow, this is what we talked about. Let's get this up here so everybody can see it. Uh, you know what I've got to do, folks? I've got to send it to myself first. And then send it over to TFNN. So give me a break, and uh, I will get this up here very, very quickly. As soon as I now, after I got it in here, all I got to do is find that little puppy, and I know I can. This one's got a really big one. Oh, come on now, Larry. Just give myself a break here and get this little thing going here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I did it the wrong way. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Well, let me do it the old way here. I can't find the darn thing now. Shucks. All right, let's get it up here, Ruby. You'll be able to see it. Uh, come on, it's got to be here. I just sent it to myself. Come on, Larry. Ah. All right, here it is right here. Let's get this up here to, so we can see it together. Right now, um, upside target, I think you should be worried more about a downside target because we went down to that 880. That's that really important support level. And uh, we're, we're trading just a little above that. Below 880, I, I wouldn't want that if I were you. But uh, that's uh, – I, I, that just – you know, this doesn't seem like it has a lot of uh, upside uh, movement. That that's my uh, that's my guess. I don't uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case. But that one three five pattern is a good pattern. I mean, I don't see any reason for that. Um, oh, I guess what? I found it. I found it. I found it. Just a second. This takes me a while. I got so many charts on this darn thing to show you guys. That there's the 135. You see it's held those lows. As long as it stays above 880, it's got a chance, Ruby. That's about it. But it ain't moving much. Let's put it that way. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we are going to take a very, very hard look at the euro here for our good friend Theodore down in Houston. And uh, so look at this. Uh, this is very interesting. As you remember, we were trying to buy the euro at 109.85. Well, boys and girls, believe it or not, it went down to 109.89 and left the train without me and a few other people, too. And so what did it do? It went right up to the number we were looking at, which would happen once before, at 110.63. We hit it again last night, and we're trading you know, around 110.40 right now. Folks, we are, we are in a situation, if you, if you stop and think about it, just a second, and that's what we're going to do right now here. We've got this euro in a really tight trading range now between 1. 1060 and 109.85. That's an 80 point. Um range. That's the basically the harmonic number in the euro. So it's going to break out of that range very, very quickly. Uh, well, that's my opinion. And, that, you know, opinions are something that uh, everybody has one that usually smells. But anyway, let's uh, remember now we just looked right before we looked at the euro. Uh, and the euro is a really great thing to trade, folks. It's, it is the greatest thing to trade. There's nothing better because it's so huge. They trade a trillion dollars a day. There's virtually no slippage. Hardly, you'll never, almost never see a gap. Well, there it goes. It'll be one tomorrow. But uh, it doesn't gap very often, and your slippage is great, and uh, profit potential is good. The patterns work relatively good, but they work relatively good on any of them. But since we started this show just 20 minutes ago, I've pointed two of the larger ones, the euro versus the U.S. dollar and the British pound versus the U.S. dollar. And you notice both of those have completed patterns. Uh, the pound at the 1.2840 and the yen, or the euro at the 1.1063. So that tells us until we get out of those ranges, it uh, looks like, you know, we could be looking at some uh, continued strength in the U.S. dollar. But any moves above these levels with some with strength and some and some power, you've got to get it moving. You know, you got to get the players in the game. That will tell us that the U.S. dollar is going to weaken. And then we're going to be looking at a different situation in a whole lot of other things. That's all I know. Uh, someone say, uh, someone, Mr. Z said, uh, he, he, 2990. Anyone have a crystal ball telling which direction the next 100 point move in the crystal ball will be? I wish I knew, my friend. I wish I knew. But, uh, 
who knows? It's always uh, related to the last tweet. But uh, let's let's take it. We're talking about the dollar. I want to bring the dollar up here to show you where we are because we're still we're still setting at the same level, folks. There's nothing really dramatic happening right now. We have uh, held that low, and as long as we can stay above that uh, 97.80 level, I believe we've got a chance here to see if this uh, thing is going to move or not. But it's at a real critical level. There's no there's no question about it. It's uh, I'm sorry for the frog in the throat, folks, but <clears throat> that's the way it is sometimes. So we'll take a quick look at. I actually I'm still shook up about Felicity Huffman getting such a terrible sentence, almost as bad as the guy in Chicago, that Jesse uh, Smollett. I mean, boy, that uh, they really whack it to these folks nowadays. You get somebody in South LA to uh, South Los Angeles to steal a bag of potato chips, and he gets 30 to life. All right, let's move on here to uh, the next one here that we're going to look at. Uh, I uh, see. I covered the shiver, uh, silver. I covered the uh, the DAX. Um, I oh, a really big one. Oh my goodness. Hey, we've got one. Uh, we've got one lined up like a Christmas tree, folks. Let's take a look at this. This is a crude oil. Might not work, but by golly, this is mother God and country. I've got a pet frog, Terry. He's sick too. I'm, I'm not actually sick. I just got a ratchety throat. You'll notice this is the uh, crude oil on the daily. You see that strong support that's sitting in there that we've hit it three times at the 618. That must mean something. We were at 54.91. Now we're at 52 and change. But let's see where we are this morning as we come in here looking at this on a little bit uh, uh tighter time frame. Now, those of you that want to see these ahead of time, you should subscribe to the 24-7 because I send these out uh, you know, long before uh, they come out. But if you'll notice here, uh, we got some pretty strong support at 52.20 in the uh, uh, crude oil down here, boys and girls. You look at that, you got a really nice 135 pattern. It just says it should be today. It's a 30-minute chart. So whether that means much or not, I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Anything below, you know, 5170 would certainly not be a very good, uh, very good thing to uh, look at. So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to mess with that. You remember about a week or so ago, we were looking at one that looked real interesting from the buy side, and we get this up here to take a look at it. That is the old natural gas, and you'll notice now we're up to 237 right now, the 78.6 of the high on the September the 4th, and uh, that's been a pretty good move. It should start to have some type of a correction from this level, or it's going to explode to the upside even more, but we'll do one thing at a time. Someone's asked a question about that open interest. Open interest means, folks, for every buyer, there's got to be a seller at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And if prices go up and the open interest drops, that is short covering because no new, new buyers are not coming into the market. Ordinarily, that is negative. I showed you the chart of the notes when that was happening. I've showed it to you in other things, too, but sometimes it doesn't work just like everything else. It's just something to pay attention to, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. That's the main thing, you know, that you want to, you know, pay close attention to. So we'll watch it uh, close. The um, Someone asked the longer term uh, projection in the gold and the silver. Folks, I, I have to stick by the old projection that we talked about uh, just the other day uh, in the gold market, and I believe I have it right. Well, let's do silver here first. Uh, yeah, because I've got silver right on the line here. Let's get this one here. Is this right? Hold on a second. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Well, you can already see platinum, but here's the silver market. Silver just seems to me that it wants to get down a little bit lower, down to that level of around uh, that 660 to 650. That's a 61 percent retracement. Uh, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, we we rallied 15 dollars here in gold, but that's that's a heartbeat. You know, the harmonic number is 17, so that's that's half the harmonic number is 17, so that's pretty close to that. And uh, it happens very, very quickly. That's all short covering usually when you see something that fast and it doesn't go anywhere from that level. So that's uh, neither here nor there. No guests today, folks. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and we'll try to answer them 
for you the best we can. We get back. I wanted to spend just a moment uh, chatting about uh, the Bitcoin. You betcha, uh, S&P. We can do that right now. The old bit, we've got it right here. It looks like it's ready to take it in the bit. If you want to know the thing here, is uh, it's still falling. You're not getting it. It don't look too good. No, this is not good. You see all that long sideways action between the 23rd and the 14th this last uh, 10 days? This is not, uh, it's either good basing action here, but the fact that it's uh, at the double ABCD does give it some credit, but uh, that old low down there at 7,600 way back on June the 10th, if that's broken, uh, ooh, you'd be looking at uh, 6,000 or something in the Bitcoin, but that's what it looks like right now. It doesn't have the power. We'll take a break here. 877 Thank you. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we've been fortunate enough to have Dennis Gartman forward on a couple of charts that look really interesting. Uh, first one is this uh, sterling chart that we just looked at a little while ago. You can see the British pound versus the U.S. dollar there, and he's saying the good news uh, as it boxed in. I don't know what that means. It looks like it's in a downtrend, and we've completed that level up here that we're watching, so we'll see. But he said there's been 
progress made on Brexit that has spawned a very real rush to the upside, taking the Campbell smack into the box, making the 62% retracement of the bear run that began in the spring last year at 134. Remember when Brexit hit in June 27th, we were at 150. I remember that very vividly because we had put a sell out on that thing at 149.90, and it went up and hit it. It was a three, three, uh, three. Uh, excuse me, a 61% retracement, ABCD on the weekly, and it turned out to be a, the best trade for the rest of the year, for the whole, for the rest of the year, as I recall, because we, we took about, uh, oh, I think, it to 19 points out of it, which was pretty good. Of course, we left nine on the table, which is, you always leave some on the table. Remember the four fears, fear of leaving some on the table. We always leave some for the other folks that are out there playing. You're never going to get the high tick, folks, unless you're lucky. And you're always going to miss some of it. And you're always going to take losses. And you are going to make be wrong. All you got to do is take responsibility for that and then not worry uh, about the rest of it. That's the main thing, you know, to pay uh, very close attention to, I think. There's another chart here that uh, Dennis set on that we're watching very, very closely because there's a really good chance that uh, this one could be really a big one. Uh, that is, if you'll take a look here at this uh, gold chart that Dennis sent out, uh, it's basically just simple technical analysis. You can see the channel lines and stuff that are in there, and you'll notice at the time that is in these moves, this is some of the things that we're looking at, and that's why we're trading it a lot. Well, we're trading right at right now around 1487 right now, and I'd like to see it get down one more time to 1460. That would make me a very happy camper. That would complete uh, those of you that got the video last night that I sent out. There's a lot of stuff that's down there at 1460, and I don't know whether it's going to get there or not, but we'll see. But it's very, very interesting. That would line up pretty nicely with that silver one also. So we'll watch that uh, as we uh, as we go through. We've got another one related to the uh, uh, these tariff markets and things that looks uh, relatively interesting, and that is this. Uh, this is the March soybeans. Uh, we're in the we're in the midst of the uh, last part or the uh, harvesting now. We've completed that big ABCD pattern up here, as you can see. We made a double top, and uh, we've been up like 11, 12 days in a row. That doesn't mean it can't go up 18 days in a row, but that's completed, so that might mean something as far as the market moving in that direction for a little bit longer. I'm not sure, but. Nobody else is either. So those are the main things that we have. So if you have any questions, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. 877-927-6648. I wanted to uh, talk just a tiny bit about uh, a couple of these FANG stocks, folks. Uh, the, the, these, stocks, the, these stocks don't look very good. Let me tell you, folks. Here's uh, here's Facebook. I mean, the, the, even though they, they've had a little bit of a rally, I mean, they they really, really, some of them look bad. And the worst one of the whole bunch is uh, Amazon. I mean, it's just uh, it, well, Netflix is not much better. Let's get it up and take a look at it. But you'll see the Netflix is uh, is looking very badly. Google uh, looks a lot better than any of the others. But the the worst one of the bunch is by far uh, Amazon. Let's get it up here and you'll be able to see that this one is uh, th this one's going to have to get some type of a uh, buyout or something because this doesn't want to go up very much. I mean, we had a big rally yesterday. And as I mentioned, the open interest uh, in the S&P did drop both on Monday uh, and Tuesday on that big day with the Dow up uh, 420 points. Uh, the open interest actually was a tiny bit higher in the NASDAQ the uh, Russell and the Dow. The Dow is the least important of the four. The first is the S&P. The second is Russell. I'm basing this on open interest, of course. The third is NASDAQ. And then the fourth is the Dow Jones. It was the it had the smallest open interest, I think, of about 1,000. The Russell was a little bit more than that. And the NASDAQ was almost unchanged. So there was nothing. It was the, the S&P, which has 2 point some million as the open interest, as opposed to the next one, which is the uh, 
Russell, which has about 500,000. So that's uh, that's the big difference. It shows you that, uh, you know, there was players that were leaving the market uh, in the stock indices futures, at least for those two days. Now, whether that continues or not, open interest could come in any time and make this thing, uh, you know, move up uh, quite a bit. So those are just a few of the ones that we're, you know, we're keeping a, a very close uh, eye on here this morning. Uh, we had uh, uh, one other, there was one other thing that I wanted to cover, and I cannot remember what the doggone thing was. Shut the front door and raise the rent. The old memory lag is just not getting. Uh, oh, I know what it was. Let's get to this level right here. This was this this chart pattern that we had in the S and P. Now let's just uh, um, on Monday, of course. We let's just see on on last Friday, we had. Uh, uh, I don't know it's all that stuff you I don't know what that is David I guess that's all of the things that are opening this morning okay uh, this was that hanging man and we immediately went back and took out that high uh, on Friday which was a very big uh, big movers okay thank you very much David uh, how do you figure out oh they must tell you what the volume is on these beforehand to, to see uh, to see what's going on well one thing at one one or the other. Oh, we're opening now. Let's just see how the market's opening here. Uh, we sold off a little bit. Uh, let's see. The gold's down. It uh, backed off about five bucks. Um, oh, dear. Let's see what's happening here. We got a couple of good ones in here. What's going on here? 10-4, 10-4. Uh, all righty, let's move on here to, uh, give me one second, folks. I have to, I've got a couple orders in here that I think are real interesting, and I want to make sure that uh, we are in place here for some of these things. All right, this first, uh, we dropped from nine, we dropped 10 points in the S&P right after the, that they'll, they'll rally that one back, and, you know, that they do that all the time in that first opening part of that first uh, 45 minutes of trading, anything could happen, you know, during that time, so we'll. We'll see whether that means very much or not. Okay, uh, the bonds now, where bonds are getting down to test that old low again down here at one, uh, one, uh, fifty-nine, uh, twenty-four, folks. Boy, if it gets below that, actually, it's not going to look too bad. That bond is making a. It looks like it's making a double, another double bottom in here, just with the little A B C D pattern. Uh, to me, folks, so it's going to be important bottom to watch at one fifty-nine, twenty-four, because the the. Uh, the notes are acting much better than the bonds. They're really holding up a whole lot better. So that's the, the key thing. I, I Frankly, the, the one that interests me the most of anything today is the fact that the, if this uh, – uh, British pound gets uh, screaming above 128.40. Uh, this is going to be a uh, you know going to be a real interesting one to watch. You know because it's uh, it's had one heck of a move. We went uh, we hit 128.40 and after we hit that 128.40, uh, we dropped all the way down to 127.20. It dropped over 100 pips, which was uh, would have been your first uh, your first profit objective. Let's take a break here, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mr. Z on the line. John, are you there? Larry, I am. Thanks for taking the call, sir. Well, I, uh, I'm glad I find you in the same camp as me, not knowing which way is that next 100-point uh, S&P move. So, uh, so in lieu of coming to answers for that question, I thought I'd ask you if you could, uh, just as a tutorial, uh, share with us the shorter-term uh, E-mini S&P charts that you're using, you know, be it a four-hour, one-hour, shorter-term charts that mm -hmm. you'd be using to set up trades, either longs or shorts. Uh, I'm frankly right at this moment at a loss. So uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm not the only one, and perhaps you going through that exercise would be uh, of help to somebody besides me. Well, John, I will tell you this. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king, and I have a patch over both eyes. So let's take a look. <laughs> I posted it here in the room so you can look at it over the last four days. Uh, we went from uh, 290 down to 2990 down to 2952. From there, we rallied 50 handles. It was an ABCD structure, 382 pullback uh, Tuesday morning, and then away it went. And uh, we went up, and then last night we sold off to a 61% retracement of that low from 29.74, and we rallied up to the 61% retracement at 29.98. So we're in the tight trading range right now. It could go either way from here without any trouble. The only thing that I'm concerned about from being on the long side here is that open interest is dropping on big days like this. This is not good because that means the restaurant is full and nobody's ordering food. So you've got to be careful because uh, we've seen this in gold. We've seen it especially in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. Just a month ago, we were talking about it just about every day. And a few people listen to it. And uh, yeah, when open interest is dropping, that just means there's not people coming in. And uh, you know, it used to mean something, whether it does or not, I don't know. The key figures today would be 29.74. That's quite a ways down, considering we had the run. But these markets move you know, on the slightest little uh, Twitter or whatever it happens to be. But that's what I'm looking at. There should be some resistance at around 29.98. And some support around uh, 2980 is the way it looks, uh, just for early today anyway. I hope that helps. I don't know if it does or not, but that's what, I, that's what I'm seeing here. Are you seeing anything different, John? What is it that you're looking at? No, no, no. I, <laughs> Larry, I've got, uh, I've got the one patch. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, okay. Well, mine's over both eyes, so I'm a little, a little easier for <laughs> right. me. Uh, no, the answer, uh, uh, the answer is no. I've got nothing intelligent to add, uh, and I do appreciate you just going through those words and looking at your charts here in Tiger TV, uh, and uh, I do find that helpful just th seeing the thought process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and the only thing that's obvious to me here, of course, is we've surged up. But uh, let's see, the S&P cash, uh, and I'll reference that since we're going back a couple of months, but that July 26th high was uh, 30.28, and then the September 19th high was 30.22, and we haven't quite gotten there yet, but, you know, we're very close. Bottom line is we've gotten up to here multiple times. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, I've just learned as a trader, when you get to uh, an area of prior highs, uh, don't guess it's going to jump the creek, jump over those, let it do it before you mm -hmm. get all, you know, all lathered up about it. So, uh, so uh, yes. other than, and, of course, those observations offer you nothing as a trader. I understand that. Well, so actually, just, uh, they actually, John, because... Time. If you if you're looking at the you know the S and P and the Nasdaq, you're only looking at about a hundred stocks that are making this stuff go up. If you look at the you know the broad market, the New York Stock Exchange index and the Russell, my goodness, they they certainly look far from bullish. You know, so it's really a, it's just a one tier market. It's those stocks in the S and P and the Nasdaq, the high price ones that are keeping things up. And frankly, the the stocks for the uh, uh, fang stocks, they don't look very good, and they, they've been the leaders all along. The only one of those fang stocks that looks good is Apple, and it's made a double top with a double, you know, with an ABCD pattern. So I, I hope that helps. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, one one follow-up question. Actually, it's, I'm going to switch, switch uh, topics on you and just ask you about the notes and the bonds. And, of course, you... Uh, you uh, went through a discussion of those previously, but um, do you have any uh, biases yourself as to uh, the next bigger move? Uh, do you uh, do you suspect the next larger move, you know, that lasts more than a month or two, is lower, or um, or do you see otherwise? John, I have to go with the big monthly chart that you know I've posted many times uh, on the S and P, the Dow Jones. It's made a major one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, three drive to a top. It's not taking it out. Uh, you know that came in at thirty twenty five in the S and P. We take that out. You know it's going to break a lot of technical. Uh, uh, <laughs> theories for me, but well, those patterns fail. I mean, they don't fail often, but they do fail. But so far, it hasn't failed. It's just jumping around in between. And the fact that that open interest dropped is very important for Monday and Tuesday. I mean, it had every reason to bring in a lot of people. And uh, instead of people coming in, that there were people leaving. That That's a question mark if you're long, because you, uh, you want to see a lot of pay players come in, like we saw in the gold market. There were always players coming in, up or down. They were in there you know, buying like crazy, but uh, this is what we're we're seeing right now in this. So whether that means much or not, I don't know. Very good, Larry. Uh, thanks so much for your help, and uh, I'll uh, bid you do and good trading week. Okay, uh, we had another question from a, a caller in Miami, and he was asking about uh, the London seminar that we did on September. Uh, I don't know if he's, is he on the line or not. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, how are you? This is uh, hey, Larry, how are you, my friend? Uh, this is John, right? Yes, yes. How are you, Larry? Very good. What can I help you with? Yeah, Larry. Two things. Uh, the, the seminar that you did in London with the gentleman, I, I think it was yesterday or the other day. You spoke about Tom Huger. I, I think it was. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. The, yes. Is the seminar going to become available to to purchase or view? I think so. I don't know for sure. Tom Hugard handles that. I will ask him. He'll be on the air next uh, on the 23rd with me. Or, oh, excuse me, on the 22nd next uh, next Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, David Paul, who helps help to do the seminar. He's the the mathematician and psychologist. Uh, he'll be chatting with us too. But I believe they have it. Uh, they have an audio version of it, and they have all the charts and and everything. So it's uh, it was two full days. So it's it's a lot of material, but. It's 
it was really a lot of fun. We had a great, great time, and we've uh, we've been doing some, uh, you know, some of the trading with it, and it's been working pretty good. So we'll we'll see how this uh, unfolds. But it's, it probably will be available, my friend. But I, I'll let you know if it is, of course. Okay. And and could, could you tell me? Um It'd be really cool if, if on YouTube you guys can put the dates that you have some guests on. So when you go to the YouTube channel, you can see who's talking. Can, can you recall when was the last time that you had um, uh, Norm Winsky on your show? So I can see if I can find the recording. Yeah, Norm. Norm was on the day. He was on the tenth. He came in the day before the uh, that that Thursday before the uh, full moon. He came on the tenth. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I hope so that much. helps. You bet. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, let's do something a little fun here towards the end of the show here. We're going to bring up something that we talk about once in a while, and that's the old uh, artificial intelligence program. And I'm going to do a quick little review here. Hold on one second here. Be patient, and I'll be right with you, and we'll see if we can get something up here that will be fun to look at. Don't trade off of this. Just look at it for general education purposes. 
trading can be uh, dangerous to your health and wealth, so make sure you don't do anything like this until you understand what the heck you're doing, and that might take about seven or eight lifetimes. This is a rough idea, a little more than rough, of what the euro or what the British pound should be doing today. And if you'll notice it very closely at 1030 in the morning, which is exactly uh, half an hour from now, uh, keep an eye on that British pound and see what happens. Who knows? As Eve Gold lurks in the mind of men. What was that? That was the, uh, what was that one? What, what was that? Some of you old people remember, what was that when I was a kid? That was the, uh, oh, what was that? No oh, evil works in the mind of men. Oh, what was that? The shadow. God bless you, Bill. You have to be my age to figure that. The shadow knows you got that. I can remember sitting in front of the, the radio with my grandma. I lived with my grandma from the time I was three until I was seven during the, well, a little more than that. But uh, we always used to listen to the Lone Ranger and uh, the shadow and uh, Boston Blackie. That was one of my favorites. And uh, it was always a lot of fun. Boys and girls. We are going to have the end of the show coming up pretty, what evil lurks in the hearts of men. That's exactly what that was. I, well, the one I remember the most was John Derrick and knock on any door. And you got you know, live hard, love hard, live hard, die young and make a good look, good looking corpse. That's the actual uh motto of the Navy SEALs. So we'll we'll see whether that's going to be the case. Hey, thanks for putting up with me today, folks. We'll try to get you back on track tomorrow, watching these markets, whatever they're going to be doing. Keep your stops working. Only take the winning trades. That's the real key to being successful in the business. Just take those winning trades. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. <laughs>